Did you know that 41% of businesses take more than six days to complete the month-end closing process? The four major challenges with the month-end closing process are lack of centralized data storage, errors in manual records, insufficient knowledge about the process, and difficulty tracking task status. How can your business address these challenges and streamline the process? Let's find out! Over the next 9 minutes, we're going to be diving into some pretty interesting topics that'll help you improve the month-end closing process. First up, we'll be discussing what makes the close process go smoothly. Following that, we'll discuss four major accounting close challenges and how to overcome them. Make sure to stick till the end of this video to access our 10 tip checklist that will help you streamline and improve your month end close cycle. Let's start with our first topic. Before we begin, this video is powered by HiRadius. AI-driven autonomous finance solutions for the office of the CFO to transform your order to cash treasury, and record to report functions. Give it a try. Welcome everybody. So with that, I'll, I'll begin the presentation. We'll start out with a month end close. Uh, so what makes a good process go smoothly? Well, of course it's standardization. And today's day and age, standardization is probably one of the more difficult things to do uh, in the last three or four uh, consulting process uh, improvement initiatives that I've been on. Uh, there's been a lot of acquisitions. Uh, there are different systems. Uh, interface is very difficult. The chart of accounts is all all different. So standardization becomes a high priority for our companies, especially if they're acquiring at, at, a, at a very fast pace. Of course, the accuracy of the information and how that information is uh, accounted for is very important. And uh, as I mentioned, the chart of accounts is probably the first place that you would look to see, is it going to change? Are you going to put them on one platform or are you going to uh, have a consolidation process and how well is that going to be mapped? Uh, accounting standards globally are also different. So the accuracy based on the accounting standards in a particular country may throw a monkey wrench into the works. And of course, the clean, the cleaner the data, the better. And organizations are using technology more and more to help with this process. And then of course, data governance, the data quality and the consistency has to be there and somebody has to be accountable for it. The good news is that technology is improving and that specialized software applications such as robotic processing and artificial intelligence and some of the, the newer technologies that are on horizons will help companies do a better job of accounting closed processes. And that's what we all hope will happen sooner rather than later. But there are a lot of choices out there. And as with all choices, there will be some fallout and making the wrong technology uh, selection could be detrimental to the closed process altogether. So as we go forward, we're going to look at what are the challenges. And these are based on surveys that uh, the large accounting firms have done. I've looked at a number of them. And rather than quote each one of them, I thought I would just take the highlights from those, those uh, surveys that I've seen. Of course, the first thing I see on every single uh, survey is outdated technology. Uh, years ago, there was no such thing as an ERP and everyone would live on with their system that they chose to run their business and there wasn't much change. Well, that does, that's changed a lot today. The big companies are acquiring smaller companies and you might be dealing with an ERP vendor today that becomes part of a larger organization. But the migration of the data uh, over to that technology is usually slow and expensive. And I, I can't tell you how many times I've heard a CFO say, I'm gonna live with this until I die. And unfortunately, the system dies long before they do. So uh, the poor quality of data in some systems is because the field where you would put the information and in it's needed with change of rules and regulations isn't there. So they have to uh, somehow supplement that. And that's a real problem for data governance because how are you going to have data governance when you have no place to store the data or retrieve it from and then the chart of accounts as i mentioned there is a consistent uh ongoing uh change in technologies and platforms 
Uh, I have been in companies where there have been 20 or 30 different platforms in the accounting systems or in the background. And talk about inconsistency in numbering and chart of accounts, that's where it all occurs. And so when you hear a company acquiring another company, you can almost bet that there's going to be those challenges that they face. And they try to do it uh, at the uh, end of or beginning of a new quarter so that they're not interfering with their ongoing business processes and they've got three months to make things right. But it usually takes more than that. On average, a good migration could take up to a year. And so you have to be careful who you migrate in, when you do it, and how it will affect your overall closing process. And of course, the naming conventions, depending on the system that's being used. One system may call the particular item that's being reviewed in the closed process, something different, and that mapping has to be done. Also, when you upgrade a system, which occurs now more and more with the uh, web-based solutions, every system has to be synchronized. So anytime one may, makes a change, if you're hooked into three or four other different systems, you've also got to look at those naming conventions to make sure that you're not misaligning and, and setting up accounts. I've been in one situation where the uh, the reserved accounts were all had different naming conventions and it created a real problem because everyone said well i didn't get it posted so i'll post it again and they duplicate posting so it's really important when you're doing your setup to include the same naming conventions across the globe or across your your particular industry and then of course if the applications aren't linked that means consolidation, which is a whole nother set of issues that companies are going to have to deal with. Now, uh, the problem, as I mentioned, is that many organizations have not adopted the new processes or technology to uh, efficiently collaborate across departments, subsidiaries, divisions, and the company itself. I see this more and more as as technologies are, are evolving and as, as companies are acquiring. And so manual accounting practices come into play and they're not sustainable. And that equate, equates to a lot of extra work. Uh, it also includes uh, risk time and employee morale issues that I've seen companies that have gone through this, the turnover rate gets higher and higher as the problems remain unresolved. And then the multiple unlinked applications, as I said previously, this is a real problem for a lot of companies today. Not only are they acquiring companies that are on different platforms and have all kinds of complications from trying to link those, but the companies themselves uh, that supply the ERP or the technical solutions uh, are so numerous and plugging them in and keeping them in sync becomes a significant issue for mapping, uh, reconciling, and of course, ensuring that the consolidation is accurate in all of this. Now, how do you overcome the challenges? Well, again, I looked at a number of surveys, plus my experience in dealing with companies and said that modernization of their infrastructure was probably the quickest way to resolve things as they they come about whether it's a change because of brixa or accounting standards change if your systems are properly synced and everyone is aware of where all the links are it's much easier to consolidate your information uh, and that's using technology and i will get to the technology piece because uh, some of those surveys on technology in themselves are uh, a bit concerned. Uh, the current processes and technology that you have, you can create a roadmap and reduce the risk and the time to close by automating the close process and, and the consolidation efforts. It takes time. Uh, anybody that's on this call that's been through a consolidation or a month and quarter and or year and close knows that if anything can go wrong, that's when it will go wrong. And so it's good to have a process in place like artificial intelligence and robotics on repetitive processes and process maps and charts of accounts all linked and easily and readily available for people to look at. And the reason for that is obviously something goes wrong. 
if you haven't got a tool to do the research, there's a good possibility that there could be a month in close delay and worst case restatement of the financials. We've put together a free checklist with 10 fail-proof strategies for improving your month-end closing cycle. Download it to improve your month-end closing by 100%. Check out the description to get the link to the checklist. If you're seeking to expand your expertise in credit, collections, and treasury, explore Hayako Academy's skill-based certifications program today and climb up your career ladder. Earn a digital skill badge and certificate upon completion of the certification. Check out the link in the description box below for more information. If you liked what you learned in this video and want to learn more, subscribe to our channel and leave a thumbs up. Which other credit, collections, or treasury topics would you like us to cover next? Tell us in the comments section below. See you in our next video.